video tutorial um, basically just letting you guys know how um, I've been growing out my eyebrows since January I figured out a way to kind of make it easier the growing process um, your eyebrows say a lot um, they make your expressions on your face go a long way if you have thin eyebrows I see a lot of women these days have very nice well threaded and thick eyebrows or they draw them on thicker um, but if you have thin eyebrows and you're considering growing them out but you just don't know how to do it and you can't last you, you've tried it and you've only lasted like a week and you're like screw this I'm just gonna keep them the way that I am try this method I promise you it worked for me I hope that it can work for you guys um, so let me know um, how you like this video please comment rate subscribe and share with your friends thank you guys so much for subscribing all right talk to you later am i recording who's there hello <laughs> i'm back you guys okay so i just washed my face i moisturized i sharpened my white eyeliner which is what you'll need whoops one of the items you'll need yay Bruce. um i have my little tweezers um I don't think I need any, I don't think I have any plucking to do, because I just did it recently. I have an eyebrow brush. <laughs> Mine's all chucked up. I can't find my other one. And, um, well, it's missing the little brush part, but all I need is really this part. And then, um, I have eyebrow scissors. You can use them on your man's nose hairs. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so... Here's what I'm going to start off doing. So what I do is I make sure I obviously have no makeup on my eyebrows. I normally draw them on, but they're not, um, or I shade them in, so they're not shaded in right now. I have nice, smooth, clean face. So here we go. We're going to grab with our eye white eyeliner. The shape that I want, obviously I want a little bit of an arch. So what I did is I actually go from the point of your nose to the pupil of your eye, as long as this is in the middle of the pupil of your eye, that's where your arch would be. So my arch is kind of right there, and I just finally was able to kind of create a little bit of an arch. This eyebrow, you know how like none, like both of your eyebrows are never the same, or like never both perfect. You have that one perfect eyebrow. I think this is my perfect eyebrow. I don't know. Mine are all jacked up. So anyways, I, this one basically doesn't really have like a huge arch like this one. Like look, I can go like that. You know how you do the sexy eyebrow thing? So anyways, this one has it, but this one doesn't really have it, so I have to kind of create it because I don't want it to just go like that and then have like a little end that I kind of draw on, so, um, because it's kind of a little bit shorter. I don't know why it's like that. My eyebrows are like not all there. So anyways, basically I'm drawing underneath. We'll wipe that because I don't really need that. I'm just going to draw underneath. Hold on. I'm like looking. Let me just see. Okay. Here, I'm going to look at you guys. How about that? Hello. So look, here's what I'm doing. I'm going to draw underneath. I can't really do this looking at you guys because my camera is like moving slower. So I'm just going to draw my eyebrow. Here I go. So I'm going to draw. Uh-oh, my eyebrow thingy broke. Hold on. My eyeliner. So now that I've kind of pretty much shaped my eyebrows already, because I've been growing them since June, which has been six months. You, on the other hand, would probably have to draw a little bit lower. I mean, it just depends on what your eyeball shape is and what your desired shape is that you're um, working at getting. Um, so anyways, here I've kind of drawn, I know it's a little screwed up, but um, basically I'm going to, that's okay. You, this doesn't have to be a perfect line underneath. It just has to be as thick as I want it in the inner part and have to make sure I have an arch because arches, your eyebrows need like a little bit of an arch. Some people have round eyebrows and that's okay too, but I prefer to have an arch because that's the way it works with my eyebrows and I just like the way it looks on faces. So um, what I'm going to do is pluck all underneath. This is like your little fence to kind of tell you where your boundaries are so that you don't start to over pluck. I don't know why I didn't think of this any sooner. I had 
tried to grow out my eyebrows several times, but I don't know exactly what happened, whatever. Finally figured it out, though, and now I like the shape of my eyebrows when I shade them in, and I can't wait to learn not missing any spots there. So like that, you see? It's missing some spots, but that's okay because I can just shade those in, and it looks still natural. It's not, you know, all crazy, like, drawn off. So yeah, and you're going to do the same thing for this one. I'm going to look at my mirror, and so basically I'm plucking all underneath it. Now, with time, now that like six months has come by, um, gone by, I've kind of been able to go a little bit closer to the shape that I wanted and pluck those because I have, my eyebrows have, all the little hairs have grown. So you don't, in the beginning, first two to three months, um, if you have a lot of hair growing, you don't want to pluck too close because you want to make sure that you give room for growth. Um, you want room for, for hairs to grow in certain areas because you don't really know what your shape could be and where you'll need hairs, you know, to get that shape. So you want to just let them grow. Um, once you're done plucking all that, then you just brush your eyebrows up right here. I don't exactly need to trim them, but I'm going to show you how to do it. Anyways, you just... Most of you probably know. You're just going to brush your eyebrow up and cut straight across, okay? And then you're going to brush down right here in the inner part and just trim those two and go with the way that your eyebrow is shaped so that when you brush them this way, they're nice. There's no little hairs popping out or anything just to keep them clean. I mean, this will just help you get through this growing process. I mean, oh, I hope that that works for you guys. Here's the end of my video. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Please rate, subscribe, and comment and share this video with your friends. Bye, guys. Hey, oh, my brown eyed girl, my brown eyed girl, could you be my brown eyed girl? Baby, you're a stunner, saw you from my humble.